Good morning, it's Kinen again. I am going to probably show you one of the most famous Alpha Draconian reptilians from the 21st century. Only because he admitted it. Not only did he admit it, but he is admitting that he is a bird and he is avian. Um, look, I'm not, I don't need to defend my research, but I'm just going to say this. I'm going to speak in generalities because I always get links whenever this happens, and I'm not calling my subs out for it. I'm not going to say who because I don't, I don't sit here deconstructing other people's research into reptilians. Uh, but I will say that I am aware when content creators want to start dipping into reptilians because I get sent the links from their videos. Hey, they're, they're free to do whatever they want. But I have seen over the 15 years that I've done this, I've seen every content creator out there. I don't care if they're starting out researching unicorns or Bigfoot. They all eventually go to reptilians. I even seen the guy over at How to Hunt talking about reptilians. Uh, all roads lead to Babylon. It's not. Here is the, um, the problem when you start looking into reptilian research. Unless you follow my research... Half the shit you've been told about reptilians is been put out there by ass-licking Freemason and people in secret societies, including Stitchin himself. Two, um, according to some content creators, uh, I guess there's millions of reptilians walking around on planet Earth, but they, they never want to appear. And, you know... If you were a 1,200-pound lizard, why would you be in your human form all the time? Why would you be using CNN to run propaganda for you? If I was a 1,200-pound lizard, I'd just shapeshift into my true fucking form, and I'd keep all the sheep in line. All right? Uh, because they're not 1,200-pound lizards. One of the things that I noticed when I first started researching reptilians that wasn't adding up, and I figured out, well, that, that's because a lot of these asshats are Freemason. No wonder they're given half truths and half lies. Was all these people came coming out. I, all right, first of all, you notice something about my research? I never say the word, quote unquote, lizard people. Because actually, native Terran reptilians are not even genetically associated with modern lizards, they predate the dinosaurs. Scientists have just admitted that they had come from an older species known as the Cilerons. And yes, they predate dinosaurs. There is one reptile on planet Earth that is kind of associated with these, and that is the Tuatara in New Zealand, who has an active third eye and pineal gland. Two, I don't know how, how, how much more obvious do you need it to be that Alpha Draconians refer to themselves as birds. I recently did the vulture culture video from ancient Babylon. Where their first representations of themselves were vultures. On Stels and Gobekli Tepe. Now they use the eagle. Nobody questions why the United States, the Nazis. Um, all you And ancient Rome all use the same eagle. That, uh, yeah, all right. Sorry if I get a little... Oh, if you want to donate to my weed fund, that, yeah, I'm a little... <laughs> I'm trying to get marijuana today. Um, secondly, this video I did on trans Ugothian magic. There's a reason I did this video. Because if a conspiracy I was putting out there is true, that means that Aleister Crowley himself knew how to practice trans Ugothian magic. Which is why the idea of him living out the rest of his life <laughs> in drag as Barbara Bush makes a whole lot of sense now. And here's another word that a lot of people are throwing out there today. If you're a man and you put a dress on, that does not automatically make you a trans. Learn what the fucking word means, okay? You have transvestite, drag queen, and people who now Aleister Crowley would not have gotten a surgery because there's no way he could be a quote unquote practicing magician. You can't do that once you mutilate yourself. You become a eunuch and you cannot become a deaf and obviously Crowley, what he knew about the occult and his non human way of thinking pretty much proves he was a reptilian. 
and he would have came here. They infiltrate, uh, like, I don't know how many reptilians you guys think are running around on planet Earth. How many alpha draconians? But there's only 300 of them. And amazingly, they seem to pop up in positions where they're, po where they're pushing or subverting or basically hijacking religion. Oh, it just started pouring rain out. I start. Maybe the black magicians just did a rain dance on me. Pouring. I, I mentioned Alistair Crowley. It <laughs> started pouring out. <laughs> he cursed me. But if you read the book of the law, you know, all these little Hollywood celebrities like Quote and Crowley, Jay Z walking around with the Do As Thy Wilt shirt on. There's another quote from the book of the law, which um, they don't seem to want to talk about. Why? Because it proves my research is 100% correct. Crowley is admitting that he is an uh, avian bird. He's not a lizard. And it's also, uh, I'm about to read you one of the, the, the most blasphemous statements you ever heard. Because he basically, um, and he tells you he's going to do this before it's in the book of the law. But he identifies as a bird. Two. Alpha Draconian reptilians do not have slit eyes. A lot of these anomalies that we have seen over the years, and I've already, um, this is another reason I guess i got to publish a book, because 99% of these quote-unquote anomalies that you see on cameras are not reptilians. They're magnetic frequencies being fucked with by practicing occultists who have archonic energy attached to them. And my source for that is Manly Palmer Hall, 33-degree Freemason on electromagnetic fields and the occult of the human body. There's a lot of science that goes into what I do. Um, I under Look, I'm not trying. Every researcher out there is, I don't care what you're doing, if you're, you're going to come to reptilians one day. Because I, I know when it happens because I get sent all the links. So there's a big YouTube channel now going in reptilian mode. Uh, my advice to him you might, you might not, yeah, don't use the word lizard people. <laughs> and they're not actually birds, they're avian, which if you know the association between birds and reptiles, it's not that hard to figure out there. Um, however, the idea that he became Barbara Bush later in life, in, it's Alistair Crowley in drag, and he would have had to extend his life to do this. Go back to the video on trans magic to find out how that would happen. And now it, may, it makes a lot of sense because that means that Aleister Crowley would have helped with George Bush found the CIA and Skull and Bones, which makes a hell of a lot of sense now. Um, but he was not a... Tran, okay? Because he had his junk. He was a practicing black magician. That word's getting thrown around so much, uh, people don't even know what it means anymore. Just like the word lizard people gets thrown around, and most people don't even know what a real alpha draconian looks like. They look like this. Now, I have this um, watermark on here because I used this a while back. And I didn't want people stealing our original artwork because... We've actually produced original artworks of Alpha Draconians. And to prove to you, so I'm going to call the video Famous Alpha Draconians of the 21st Century. Because I don't know how many of them you think are running around outside. Most of these anomalies caught on cameras with a lot of these, um, I call them reptilian anom anomalies because that's what people search for. Um, however, they're usually attributed to practicing, uh, oh, and one of the best anomalies that I have on video comes from David Icke himself. And, you know, it's, and he is the only human name you get linked to when you go over to a uh, CIA run Wikipedia. Fuck the CIA. I know who founded you. I think you're some special organization. <laughs> Yeah, you were founded by Aleister Crowley and George Bush. 
and obviously he he would have known how to extend his life practicing. Now he would have, if he's an alpha draconian, that would have been his human form that he took until he retired it and became whoever after that. And now it makes a hell of a lot of sense. Specifically, the human trafficking aspect of the CIA and the drug dealing, because drug dealing puts people in the lower vibrational level, which is why they want all Americans high on fentanyl right now. Because these fucking parasites, this is the only weapon they have, is to keep you stupid and in darkness. They are not apex predators. They are not 1,200 pound lizards. If they were, they would uh, appear in a true form and keep humans in line from time to time. No. In fact, if you go back to the video I showed you about vultures, apparently they thought the vulture would have been a nice form to present to humans. Then they abandoned it. And went to the eagle. And you want to know why? Go watch the video about the vultures. Yeah, you see the vultures sleeping in the video. <laughs> they're, they're not really intimidating looking. So now they're, uh, they're phoenixes. They're eagles. And as I am going to show you with Aleister Crowley, they're hawks. So this is the book of the law. Um, Aleister Crowley was channeled this book of the law from... An alien gray archon known as Lamb. Oh, this is another picture I had of Crowley, which was um, one of the first proofs that he was possibly a reptilian and show, casting the shadow on the wall. It, it, there's, it's very metaphorical what he's doing in this pic. But yeah, uh... So the Book of the Law was channeled to Aleister Crowley by Lamb, who, here, here's something else that a lot of researchers haven't been able to figure out that's right in front of your face. Lamb is the 71st demon in the Lesser Key of Solomon. His number is 71. His, his name in the Lesser Key of Solomon is Dante Lion, and he walks with a book upholding the law. That is the Book of the Law. Aleister Crowley was teaching people how to summon archons and utilize black magic. Him being a reptilian himself. Um, it was kind of a neo-pagan renaissance in the early 1900s, right before we went off to World War I. Um, these are the archons. These are the entities which possess people, which causes the magnetic anomalies on camera. Um, now, I don't know why a lot of people don't reach out to me when they're researching reptilians. Um, is it maybe their ego or their pride? Um, you, you need to put that aside and realize the truth does not require your approval. It is what it is. I have a very non-biased way of researching this shit, which is why I think I'm so good at it. If I'm researching reptilians and they wind up to be avian, who, who am I shilling for? What what do I get off at lying at the end of the day unless I'm just trying to make reptilian videos for video clicks? Because I used to have a big YouTube channel with 60,000 subs. I used to get hundreds of thousand views on my video. And 10 YouTube channels later, that all fucking got taken away from me. So now I'm seeing other content creators get massive amounts of views on their videos about reptilians. They're just not getting the right information anymore. Um, now, you want proof that Aleister Crowley is a bird or avian and a reptilian? The Book of the Law. I'll link this as a top comment if you haven't read it. I, this is one of the most disgusting and vile pieces of literature ever written in human history. And now uh, I'm going to read you quotes uh, from lines 48, basically 10 lines of the text. Now this mystery of the letters is done, I want to go on to the holier place. Holy. I am in a secret fourfold world, the blasphemy against all gods of men. Now fourfold world, I think that's a reference to the fourth dimension. Curse them, curse them, curse them. That's the 50th line of it. With my hawk's head 
I peck at the eyes of Jesus as he hangs upon the cross. I flap my wings in the face of Muhammad and blind him. With my claws, I tear out the flesh of the Indian and the Buddhist, Mongol and Din. Balast, Ophidon, I spit on your crapulous creeds. Let Mary, he's talking about Mother Mary, inviolate be torn upon wheels. For her sake, let all chastised women be utterly despised among you. And I find it really interesting that he, tra- he gets in two lines about Jesus. Now, Babylonian Talmud, they do believe in Jesus. They knew he was the Son of God. They admit it in Babylonian Talmud. They also said they used magic and gossip to condemn him, which is all fucking liberals and Democrats engage in all day. Um, I don't know how much more obvious it is. I peck at the eyes of Jesus. I flap out. I flap my wings in the face of Muhammad. The lizards have wings. Um, I was going to say that. No, it's not. A manticore. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's um, a mythological creature. Don't answer that. <laughs> yeah, and with my claws, I tear out the flesh of the Indian and the Buddhist, Mongol, and Din. He's basically shitting on every world religion there, saying that he doesn't need God. In fact, there's a line in this text that says, God is not where I am. I am in a secret fourfold world, the blasphemy against all gods of all gods of men. And if you go back to the video about trans Gothian magic, Will Schnobel ex- explains it how they open these interdimensional portals in which they believe they can become the god of this universe and suck unlimited energy from it and extend their own mortal lives. And there's already proof of people doing that. Queen Elizabeth, she wasn't really 93 years old. She was older than that. Aleister Crowley. So, like, on my... I can't even come up with on my hand how many famous Alpha Draconians are actually roaming around out there because there's not that many of them. Now, what you are really going up against is not reptilians themselves. It is humans being controlled by reptilians with their secret societies and witch covenants and black magic who are doing all the evil, disgusting shit to other humans. And that's the truth. You're more likely to get screwed over by other humans than a real Alpha Draconian reptilian because they're parasites. They're not in the public domain. They hide. We actually know where they're hiding. Rome and the Greenland theory. Rome never died. Um, But... One reoccurring theme that I'm noticing with Alpha Draconians is their rejection throughout history, and they don't like it. Gee, well, when you're a fucking blood-sucking parasite who crucified Jesus for being a threat to your existence, when you come out with text saying, we don't need God, we are gods ourselves, um, and on top of that, he's admitting that he's avian, that he's a bird. Uh, I don't know how much more obvious... And... If you look at the wall reliefs of the Anunnaki, they're depicted as looking as birds with eagle's heads. Where are people getting this idea that they're 1,200 pound scaled lizards? Uh, One of the biggest bullshit things, because I understand basic biology, hello, I actually studied in school, is once a creature goes bipedal, they usually lose their tails. And we had these whistleblowers coming out years ago saying, oh yeah, we... We ran into reptilians in underground labs working for the government, and they had tails. Uh, no, no, they didn't. Lacerda, in the Lacerda files, native Terrans don't have tails. She says it in the Lacerda files. Anytime a creature goes bipedal, they lose their tails because tails are used for balance. Um... I don't know, maybe the real information about Alpha Draconians, I actually find it more fascinating that a group of 300 avian-looking parasites could scare the shit out of 7 billion people so easily. (laughs) You know, it's a dichotomy and it's a metaphor of like how how non-existent this, like the bubble of the left is. 
I don't know if you've been following Gamergate, but we shut we shut down all that shit because we boycotted a few video games, and people were asking, "Where where are your um? Where are all these people that are supposedly? Where's your modern audience? That's the word I was looking for. It that yeah, they don't buy shit. They don't do anything." The modern audience, just like the 81 million people that voted for Biden, right? The imaginary fucking audience. All right. Um, the only thing I'm upset about Alpha Draconians, I think they get too much credit for being um, dangerous in a physical way to humans when they're not. I would say if you came across a real Alpha Draconian reptilian, probably one of the most offensive things you're going to notice, they probably smell like sulfur, probably make your eyes water. Because they smell like sulfur. That's not a good smell. Basically, it smells like ass. <laughs> that would be their fascination with anal sex. Yeah, all right. That's not good. Um, now, there's a reason for the sodic meat rituals. It's all blasphemy against God and the natural order of God. And I don't know how, how, more, how much more explicit do you need reptilians to get to basically tell you that we're birds. We're avian. They depict themselves with bird symbols. Aleister Crowley is talking about flapping out the eyes of Muhammad with his wings. And uh, I don't know. There isn't that many of them. And the most important thing, like I said the other day, the real danger of Alpha Draconians isn't the Alpha Draconians themselves. It's the humans they get to um, go along with their plans and shit and do evil things to other humans on their behalf. For what? Money, sex, and power. That's the only reason why people turn to the occult. There's other reasons, too. Small penis or inability to sexually please a woman might have you turning to the dark side and becoming a kitty fiddler. That wouldn't be um, <laughs> can't go down that road. Although I I love to, I'm being sick of being told to keep my fucking mouth shut. I mean, like I got to sit here and get pumped full of news all day. Now Stormy Daniels. Can anyone tell she was born a man? Why don't you go to Pornhub and go look up videos of her? Because something don't look right down there. You know why they use one of them? Because they have mental problems. And they're a little fucked up in the head to begin with. And half of the half of these like straight men out there can't even tell what the Transformers are. It's amazing. Even in porno. Why do you think anal became such a hot topic for... Alright. <laughs> can't, can't expose that conspiracy now. Same reason why they're all bald down there. They were pushing another agenda in porn. And then that agenda, the only reason I'm mentioning this, because that agenda that they were pushing in porn for years got carried over to Hollywood. And no one noticed. Oh, well, people did notice. And all of us that did notice that conspiracy, because that actually ties back to Aleister Crowley, about transgender priests performing Catholic mass and being a blasphemy against God. That's the real reason for it. However, um, Mr. E is back on YouTube. I, I went over to his new channel. He's got two videos on there. He won't be on here long. You're not allowed to make videos exposing Transformers. <laughs> Here's what I'll say about that agenda. You, you, you know what backfired on that fucking agenda? You had to push that agenda when movies finally got the 4K Ultra HD. And you're putting these fucking swamp things up on the screen at 4K Ultra HD and people notice shit. It was a lot easier to get away with that when you were at 24 frames a second and you know how movies were made in the 70s and 80s on motion picture film. Because it's a lot easier to hire surgery marks from cosmetic surgery. Um, things like that. And now... Um, all right, so that's kind of my reptilian rant. Yeah, one of the most famous Alpha Draconians in modern times is Aleister Crowley, also known as Barbara Bush. It is him. And the only defense to say it wasn't him was, but he would have had to live over 100 years old. Yeah, 
It's called Transugaltian magic. And they do know how to extend their lives by stealing life essence. Oh, that was shown in the Dark Crystal. With the Skeksis draining life essence from the Gelfling. And guess what? In the Dark Crystal, the Skeksis are avian. There has never been a symbol used by Babylon depicting themselves as lizards. I don't know where people get it from. Anyway, if you can support the channel, I really do need marijuana. I'm not kidding. I'm a little hyped up today, so if you can donate to the channel, everything helps. Any questions or comments, leave them below. God bless and take care.